God bless everyone. Today is Exodus 26, Sunday, May 31st, 2020, 5-31-20. Yesterday we read Exodus 25 and it said, God instructs Moses what he and the Israelites are to do next. Offerings for the tabernacle, make an ark, make a table, and make a lampstand, all with specific instructions. Alright? And then uh, I just want to say, because today is going to be some more instructions, like specific instructions, it's going to seem like, like, why is this in the Bible? It's, uh, it seems like just a list of things, how to make it, how they made it. And, like, everything in the Bible is important for something. So, that's why I'm going to read everything. But, um, what's it called? Uh, it's not meant to be boring or nothing. It's like, you could probably use it for something. Like, let's say, let's say if at work you get specific instructions how to do something. You got to do it a certain way. And you're thinking like, man, why do I got to make it exactly the way he wants it to be done? Why can't I do it my way or something? And like, you could think of it like, use this to like, think of it like, you're not doing it for somebody else. You're doing it for God. Act, act like you're working for God and, and your work will be easier. So if you got to do stuff a specific way, just do it the specific way, man. But I don't, I don't know, just uh, try to use everything because... Some stuff seems like it's boring or pointless, but it's not, man. You could use it for something. And anytime you're doing work, if you act like you're doing it for God, it makes it easier. Alright, so here we go. Exodus 26, the tabernacle. The tabernacle. God's words. Make the tabernacle with ten curtains of finely twisted linen and blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, with cherubim woven into them by a, skilled, by a skilled worker. All the curtains are to be the same size, 28 cubits long and 4 cubits wide. Join five of the curtains together and do the same with the other five. Make loops of blue material along the edge of the of the end curtain in one set and do the same with the end curtain in the other set make 50 loops in one curtain and 50 loops on the end curtain of the other set with the loops opposite each other then make 50 gold clasps and use them to fasten the curtains together so that the tabernacle is a unit make curtains of goat hair for the tent over the tabernacle 11 altogether. All 11 curtains are to be the same size, 30 cubits long and 4 cubits wide. Join 5 of the curtains together into one set and the other 6 into another set. <clears throat> Fold the 6 curtain double at the front of the, of the tent. Make 50 loops along the edge of the end curtain in one set and also along the edge of the end curtain in the other set. Then make 50 bronze clasps and put them in the loops to fasten the tent together as a unit. As for the additional length of the tent curtains, the half curtain that is left over is to hang down at the rear of the tabernacle. The tent curtains will be a cubit longer on both sides. What is left will hang over the sides of the tabernacle so so as to cover it. Make for the tent a covering of ram skins dyed red, and over that and over that a covering of the other durable leather. Make upright frames of acacia wood for the tabernacle. Each frame is to be ten cubits long and a cubit and a half wide, with two projections set parallel to each other. Make all the frames of the tabernacle in this way. Make 20 frames for the south side of the tabernacle and make 40 silver bases to go under them. Two bases for each frame, one under each projection. For the other side, the north side of the tabernacle, make 20 frames and 40 silver bases, two under each frame. Make six frames for the far end, that is, 
the west end of the tabernacle and make two frames for the corners at the far end. At these two corners they must be they must be double from the bottom all the way to the top and, and fitted into a single ring. Both shall be like that. So there will be eight frames and sixteen silver bases, two under each frame. Also make crossbars of acacia wood, five for the frames on one side of the tabernacle, five for those on the other side, and five for the frames on the west at the far end of the tabernacle. The center crossbar is to extend from end to end at the middle of the frames. Overlay the frames with gold and make gold rings to hold the crossbars. Also overlay the crossbars with gold. Set up the tabernacle according to the plan shown you on the mountain. Make a curtain of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and finely twisted linen with cerebium woven into it by a skilled worker. Hang it with hooks, hang it with gold hooks on four posts of acacia wood overlaid with gold and standing on four silver bases. Hang the curtain from the clasps and place the Ark of the Covenant law behind the curtain. The curtain will separate the holy place from the most holy place. Alright, I highlighted holy place and most holy place under my legs. Put the atonement cover on the Ark of the Covenant law in the most holy place. I highlighted most holy place under my legs. Place the table outside the curtain on the north side of the tabernacle and put the lampstand opposite it on the south side. For the entrance to the tent, make a curtain of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and finely twisted linen. The work of an embroiderer, the, the work of an embroiderer. Make gold hooks for this curtain and five posts of acacia wood overlaid with gold and cast five bronze bases for them. Alright, that's it for today. That was all God's words, but yeah, just um, try to get anything you can out of anything in the Bible because it's all important. So, maybe uh, that's showing us that God has specific things we're supposed to do, and we got to do it exactly how He wants us to do it. That, that might be what He's trying to show us, you know? Like, um, we got to try hard and uh, try hard and get something out of everything. God bless everyone. Be safe. Have a good day and pray, man. Pray pray what God will have you do today. God is good all the time, even when we don't understand. Amen.